it's a unique group of people and today there's a unique fair targeted at helping them return to society. We're talking about people who have been released from jail or prison. The Reentry Resource Fair puts all of the organizations in the area that work to help returning citizens together in one place. Vendors from all kinds of organizations have set up tables to offer people help who are just coming back to society after a stint behind bars. Katie Kelly is one of the Reentry Resource Fair's organizers. Kelly heads up a nonprofit called Power of Passion and says this is the second time this festival has been held. She says what's offered at the festival is critical to the success of people who are looking to get reestablished. Nation Outside is here. They're an awesome organization that helps with reentry. Um, the district library, um, I know a lot of times we don't think of reentry when we think of the library, but they've actually been a great resource. They were a great resource when me and my husband were going through his reentry process. LaWanda Hollister spent more than three decades behind bars. She has been back home for about a year and started up a nonprofit called Chow Hall to help people who are returning to society. Hollister says one of the toughest hurdles many people in this community face is acceptance. The biggest challenge is to be accepted for who you are now rather than who you were when you went in. Because if you're not accepted for who you are now and you don't have the opportunity to move forward, then you revert back to who you were. Hollister works with other nonprofits to help people who have been incarcerated get IDs and shows them how to make healthy meals that are, quote, institutionally inspired. Daryl Alexander returned to society nine years ago. He says the fair is an important tool. It has to be some type of medium to bridge that gap. You can either get out and go back to your previous ways of what got you incarcerated, or you can get out and reinvent yourself. Alexander says he didn't have an event like this to come to when he was released, but he was able to find support from his family and the community. He started two businesses, earned an associate's degree in IT, and is currently working toward his bachelor's in the same field. The first reentry resource fair took place in 2019, but the pandemic forced organizers to forego having one in 2020. The free event features resources for jobs, housing, food, education, and other hurdles re-entering citizens might face. Your neighborhood reporter in Lansing, Erica Murphy, Fox 47 News.